I think the current buzzword is, you know, app stores. I think, you know, you have app stores from everybody, you know, you have app stores from the uh, handset manufacturers like, you know, Apple, Nokia, you know, whoever it is. And then you have app stores that are coming from the mobile operators. In, in, our, in, in our view, I think the, the ones who are going to win are going to be the mobile operators. Why? Because if you really look at they are not going to be a one single handset that your, um, that your customers are using. You will have multiple handsets that are being used. Apple is, uh, I would say, a, a unique story, but I don't think you know, it is something that can be repeated by the rest of the handset manufacturers who are coming out they will become more of a me too. So the operators would have a kind of a very good uh, opportunity to come up with some very creative app stores. You know, it is not just putting your apps on the on an app store and call, you know, I also have an app store now. No, not like that. You know, to be able to come up with a really a very strong app store, you need to look at how the community can get involved. So community getting involved will have two aspects. You will see people helping to build some of these app stores through the community by you know like open source communities and stuff like that then you have the second part of the communities who are going to be the users of this app store where they will provide rating and comments and stuff like that which itself will kind of start building that so if operators to look at is how do i build my communities to be more active participants of this particular app store so i think what is happening in the industry is that uh, uh, from an application stores, you know, like the open source revolution, we see application stores, you know, open source application stores coming up. You know, one is, you know, uh, Wishma, which was launched at uh, uh, Mobile World Congress, which is an open source app store, getting the community to be a part of this particular app store. I think these are the things that will really uh, take off and get in the community because they will start building it to their own interest. So if I don't have a particular particular phone support into that, let me build that and contribute that to the community. So you will get a lot of people, you know, who will come in and you know there'll be a, a developer community that is built around this app store. So that that will have a future, you know, I think a very um, bright future because of that. A new trend that we have been seeing and by, by talking to some of the operators is the comeback of a USSD which is unstructured supplementary service data which is used from the operator signaling channel to be able to send uh, sessions to back to the operator network which you can actually have established applications. So what is happening in this, in this was earlier used for just for services like uh, you know, do using your balance inquiry or you know rate plan changes and stuff like that. But now what is happening is that you know people are using into more application also. So for that you can look look at USSD callback services, USSD roaming services, USSD SMS services. Plus it, a new area is also drive application. Uh, web applications to be able to send it through a USSD stream and then you know use that to kind of go and see a new session based USSD app application. So what is happening now with the new thing is a lot of marketing organizations of, of telcos are using these services. Now they want more drag and drop based main, uh, application creation for USSD. So we are hearing a quite a lot of interest from the operators saying that not the script based USSD menus and stuff and that we want more drag and drop because we want our marketing and others to be able to create uh, innovative um, applications from this USSD. So a trend that we see is that you know people are moving into whole USSD menu based ser services that you know will be will take off within the next uh, I would say maybe six to twelve months. The USSD services that that would be an interesting area to look uh, to keep an eye on.